How's it going? Um, it's time for another project. It's already completed and what I'm showing you right now is water that's being heated through my solar panels and I'm going to show you how I hooked everything up. So here's where it all starts. Uh, this is my pump house for my pool. And uh, you can see right here is the pump. And this is where the water comes in, over here. Then it comes up and it goes by this anode, it's called a pool tool. And uh, that's a zinc anode. And because I have chlorine and salt water in my pool water, uh, that's kind of trying to help keep the corrosion down. And then we come over here. Uh, this right here is a sensor, I think a sensor to sense how much salt is in the water for my uh, my chlorine generator. And then this is where I put in a diverter valve. And the diverter valve I got at a pool store. All of this PVC is 2 inch PVC. At the pool stores they tell you uh, you want to be using special PVC that you buy at the pool store. But I've just been using PVC that I buy at the local hardware store or Home Depot. And uh, so the diverter creates a T and pressurized water that comes in here I can divert as much as I want. If this is closed then none is going to go out uh, to the solar panel setup and if I have it all the way like this then all of the water that's coming out of the pump it's not going to go through the filter instead it's going to go out and it's going to go uh, through my heat exchanger that's hooked up to my solar panels. So usually I keep it somewhere in between. I want some water to be going to the salt generator and I want some to be going to my filter um, and so, uh, this right here is a union, which I thought would be a good idea because I had an, I didn't want to run two inch PVC all the way over to where my solar panels sit in the sun. So instead I come over to this union, I could change this union out to be anything and then I convert it down to a uh, smaller, I think that's one inch barb right here that I'm using to go out to uh, the heat exchanger. So now I'll go over and I'll show you that. This is just an irrigation tube that you get at Home Depot. 100 feet of this stuff is 20 to $30. So here we go, you can see the line. It's behind the pool. It's just running through the sun. The sun is probably beating down on the irrigation tube all the way over to where I have my setup over here. So, Here's uh, the hot water barrel setup that I use for my shower, and you can watch that video. And basically there's just a circulator pump that's running on solar that's heating a 50-gallon barrel of water. But after about two or three hours in real bright sun, uh, the barrel gets about as hot as it's going to get, probably between 120 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And so you're really, you're not, you're not uh, collecting a lot of um, energy from the panels anymore once the water gets that hot. So I said to myself, uh, I should be using this energy for something else. And so what I'm doing is I'm running my pool water through this heat exchanger. So come out of the barrel, go into the heat exchanger. Here's my circulator pump that's going to my solar panels. Get all these weeds out of the way. So that's one side of the heat exchanger. And then the other side is where my water comes in here from my pool pump. And then it comes out this way. And then just through another piece of irrigation line, it's going over and dumping into the pool. And uh, this heat exchanger, I bought this online. I think I bought it on Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive. They actually sell it for uh, brewing. You can see the name there. Dudadiesel.com. And it does a fabulous job. I mean, it's amazing how well it cools down or how fast it cools down the water that's in the barrel. And you know, this whole thing sort of gets to steady state. And when the sun is shining super bright, you know, if the water in the pool is 78, 80 degrees, the pool, that, the water that's coming out of the irrigation tube from the solar system is probably about 90 degrees. And I'm running maybe four to six gallons per minute out of the irrigation tube when it's running full bore. So what I notice is I can bring up on a, on a nice sunny, clear day, I can bring up the temperature of the pool about three or four degrees. So that's pretty good. Just run it during the day and I'm not paying for any of the energy. It's just energy that's, uh, you know, coming down from the sun. And if there's not a lot of sun and I really want to heat it up, like, uh, you know, when we first opened it up, uh, the temperature of the pool was 56 degrees or something like that, 56 Fahrenheit. And uh, so 
you know, there wasn't sun every single day, so I built this setup, uh, which is very similar to setups that I saw on YouTube. And I have a couple pieces of cast iron pipe going through this stove setup. So I can even put this in series. I can have uh, the water from the pool pump come out, come into my uh, wood-burning stove water heater, and then come out the other side of it. This raises it a couple of degrees, and then I go into my heat exchanger over here, just have the two things in series, and now I'm heating the water even more. Or if there's no sun, I could be heating the water with wood instead. So um, I just wanted to take you through that. I, I wish I took the video while I was building it, but, um, you know, it was sort of pieced together over a long period of time. But I'm really happy with it, and it's cool that it um, dovetails in nice with my solar shower setup. Only thing is, if I'm taking all the energy out of the barrel, heating the pool, there's not a lot of hot water left for my shower. So sometimes in the afternoon around 1.30, 2 o'clock, I'll uh, turn off the pool pump so that, so that my water can heat up for my shower in the afternoon. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.